Have you ever woken up, checked your blood sugar, and been surprised by an unexpectedly high reading? You haven't eaten anything all night, so why is your glucose level elevated? This phenomenon, known as the dawn phenomenon, puzzles many people, especially those managing diabetes. The dawn phenomenon is characterized by a rise in blood glucose levels in the early morning hours, typically between 3 a.m. and 8 a.m. It's a natural bodily response to prepare you for the day ahead, but for those with diabetes, it can present unique challenges in managing blood sugar control. This essay will delve into the science behind the dawn phenomenon, exploring the hormonal interplay that contributes to this morning glucose surge. We'll also discuss the implications for individuals with diabetes and provide practical tips for managing these early morning spikes. Understanding the dawn phenomenon is crucial for optimizing blood sugar control and overall health, empowering you to start your day on the right foot. To grasp the intricacies of the dawn phenomenon, it's essential to understand how blood glucose is typically regulated during periods of fasting. When you fast, your body naturally transitions into a state where it conserves glucose, the primary energy source for your cells. Insulin, a hormone produced by the pancreas, plays a pivotal role in this process. When you eat, your blood glucose levels rise, signaling the pancreas to release insulin. Insulin acts like a key, unlocking cells to allow glucose to enter and be used for energy or stored for later use. During fasting, insulin levels decrease, preventing excessive glucose uptake by cells. This prompts the body to tap into its glucose reserves, primarily stored in the liver as glycogen. The liver breaks down glycogen into glucose, releasing it into the bloodstream to maintain stable energy levels. This delicate balance between insulin and glucose ensures that your body has a continuous energy supply, even when you're not actively eating. However, the dawn phenomenon disrupts this equilibrium, leading to a temporary surge in blood glucose levels. The dawn phenomenon is not a random occurrence. It's orchestrated by a complex interplay of hormones that prepare your body for the day ahead. As the sun begins to rise, your body anticipates the need for energy and alertness, triggering a cascade of hormonal changes. Several key hormones are involved in this early morning surge, each playing a specific role in increasing blood glucose levels. Noradrenaline, this hormone also known as norepinephrine, acts as a neurotransmitter, signaling the liver to release glucose into the bloodstream, providing a quick energy boost to kickstart your day. Growth hormone, as its name suggests, growth hormone promotes cell growth and repair. It also counteracts the effects of insulin, leading to increased glucose production by the liver. Cortisol, often referred to as the stress hormone, cortisol plays a crucial role in regulating metabolism, immune function, and your body's stress response. In the early morning hours, cortisol levels naturally rise, contributing to the increase in blood glucose. These hormones work in concert to ensure that you have enough energy to face the day's challenges. Noradrenaline, also known as norepinephrine, is a powerful hormone and neurotransmitter that plays a crucial role in the body's fight-or-flight response. It's responsible for increasing alertness, heart rate, and blood pressure, preparing you to react quickly to perceived threats or stressful situations. In the context of the dawn phenomenon, noradrenaline acts as a wake-up call for your liver. As the sun begins to rise and your body anticipates the day ahead, noradrenaline levels surge, signaling the liver to release stored glucose into the bloodstream. This glucose surge provides a readily available energy source for your brain and muscles, helping you shake off sleep inertia and tackle the day's challenges. While this response is entirely normal and beneficial for most individuals, it can pose challenges for those with diabetes. Section 5. Growth Hormone, Fueling the Fire Growth hormone, as its name suggests, is essential for growth and development, particularly during childhood and adolescence. However, it also plays a vital role in regulating metabolism and energy balance throughout life. One of growth hormone's primary functions is to promote protein synthesis, the process by which your body builds and repairs tissues. It also stimulates the breakdown of fats for energy, providing an alternative fuel source to glucose. In the context of the dawn phenomenon, growth hormone acts in concert with noradrenaline to further increase blood glucose levels. It does so by counteracting the effects of insulin, the hormone responsible for lowering blood glucose. By reducing insulin sensitivity, growth hormone allows for a more sustained release of glucose from the liver, 
ensuring a steady supply of energy throughout the morning hours. Section 6. Cortisol, the stress hormone's role. Cortisol, often dubbed the stress hormone, is produced by the adrenal glands and plays a multifaceted role in regulating various bodily functions, including metabolism, immune response, and stress management. In the early morning hours, cortisol levels naturally rise as part of your body's circadian rhythm, the internal clock that regulates sleep-wake cycles and other physiological processes. This cortisol surge coincides with the release of noradrenaline and growth hormone, contributing to the dawn phenomenon. Cortisol's role in the dawn phenomenon is to ensure that your body has enough energy to meet the demands of the day. It does so by increasing glucose production in the liver. Cortisol stimulates the liver to produce glucose from other sources, such as amino acids, ensuring a steady supply of fuel. Reducing glucose uptake by muscles, cortisol makes muscle cells less sensitive to insulin, prompting them to rely on alternative energy sources like fatty acids, sparing glucose for the brain. While cortisol's actions are essential for maintaining energy balance and responding to stress, they can contribute to elevated blood glucose levels in the morning, particularly for those with diabetes. Section 7. The Dawn Phenomenon and Diabetes The dawn phenomenon, while a natural physiological process, can present unique challenges for individuals with diabetes, particularly those with type 1 or type 2 diabetes. In individuals without diabetes, the pancreas responds to the morning surge in hormones by releasing more insulin, effectively counteracting the rise in blood glucose. However, in people with diabetes, this delicate balance is disrupted. Type 1 Diabetes in type 1 diabetes, the immune system mistakenly attacks and destroys insulin-producing cells in the pancreas. As a result, individuals with type 1 diabetes produce little to no insulin, making them highly susceptible to the effects of the dawn phenomenon. Type 2 diabetes In type 2 diabetes, the body becomes resistant to the effects of insulin, meaning that cells don't respond to insulin as effectively as they should. Over time, the pancreas may also lose its ability to produce enough insulin. This insulin resistance, coupled with potential insulin deficiency, exacerbates the impact of the dawn phenomenon. For individuals with diabetes, experiencing the dawn phenomenon can lead to hyperglycemia. Elevated blood glucose levels, known as hyperglycemia, can occur if insulin production or effectiveness is insufficient to counter the morning glucose surge. Increased risk of complications. Persistently high blood glucose levels can damage blood vessels and nerves over time, increasing the risk of serious health complications, such as heart disease, stroke, kidney disease, vision problems, and nerve damage. Managing the dawn phenomenon is crucial for individuals with diabetes to maintain healthy blood glucose levels and minimize the risk of long-term complications. Section 8. Managing the dawn phenomenon. Practical tips. Managing the dawn phenomenon requires lifestyle changes, medication adjustments, and regular blood glucose monitoring. Practical tips include eating dinner early to align food intake with insulin activity, choosing low glycemic snacks to prevent blood glucose spikes, engaging in moderate exercise after dinner, adjusting insulin doses with your healthcare provider, regularly checking blood glucose levels, including overnight, managing stress through activities like meditation and yoga. Section 9. Seeking guidance from your healthcare team. It's essential to remember that managing the dawn phenomenon is not a one size fits all approach. The best course of action will vary depending on individual factors, such as diabetes type, medication regimen, lifestyle habits, and overall health status. If you're experiencing persistent high blood glucose levels in the morning, it's crucial to consult with your healthcare team for personalized guidance. They can help you identify the cause. Determine whether the dawn phenomenon or other factors, such as the Samoji effect, are contributing to your morning glucose spikes. Adjust medications. Make necessary adjustments to your diabetes medications, including insulin dosage or timing, to optimize blood glucose control. Develop a personalized plan. Create a tailored management plan that addresses your specific needs and goals, encompassing diet, exercise, medication, monitoring, and lifestyle modifications. Provide ongoing support. Offer ongoing support, education, and encouragement to help you navigate the challenges of managing diabetes and maintain optimal health. Remember, you are not alone in this journey. 
Your healthcare team is your trusted partner in managing your diabetes and achieving your health goals.